What's going on guys? It's just after 2 a.m. I didn't set my alarm today because, I mean, uh, I have a little bit more of an open schedule, so I planned that I was going to sleep in. You know, I went to bed about 9 p.m. And I said, you know, I'm just going to not set an alarm. I'm going to sleep in. I'm going to get some extra rest because I've been really overreaching in the gym, training just a little bit too much. But I'm loving it. But anyway, here it is just after 2, 2 a.m. And I, I woke up. I don't think I'm going to be able to go back to sleep. I'm hungry. My body's craving some food. And I'm craving a workout. So let's get to business. <laughs> Alright guys, check it out. Um, it's well, it's 2.40 a.m. so I'm not running as early as I usually do. But I have the day off work so I'm gonna, I went ahead and took a little bit of time to make a little bit uh, of a different breakfast. I know you saw my shake from the other day but I did say I ate more so don't judge me right now. This is gonna seem like a lot of food. Basically what I'm having for breakfast, I have one pop tart, six uh, banana muffins. I'm going to show you the recipe actually for this later this week. These are awesome. They're high protein, low fat. Uh, the six will be the equivalent of an entire banana. I got two cups of egg whites with uh, low, f zero fat cheddar cheese. So the fat free cheddar cheese is awesome because it adds basically just pure protein. It's got like fucking two grams of carbs or some, something, something like that. But and then I got two cups of cinnamon pebbles. I prefer these because they are basically rice and uh, you know a lot of cereals are made out of corn or whatever or, and they just I don't feel like they digest quite as well um, but anyways yeah I'm eating a little bit heavier today or at least for this breakfast I'm still gonna hit my macros my macros uh, have been 4500 and that has me getting like close to 400 grams of protein over 450 grams of carbs about 100 grams of fat and that might seem heavy, but I've actually woke up lighter the past three days. Every single day I've been slightly lighter on the scale. So my body's obviously burning it all. I've been working a lot. And I'm going to actually probably hit two full weight workouts today because I have time and I am I want to. And I might even do cardio and I have a wrestling match tonight. So I'm going to be burning a lot of food. So this might seem like a lot, but for me, this is how I like to do it. Also, in the mornings, that's when I like to get... A lot of carbs also around my workouts I I don't think nutrient timing is the most important as far as body composition but when it comes to your energy in the gym carbs do it for me so I keep my fats really low so all this all this food has about 10 grams of fat but it's gonna have about almost what 200 grams of carbs <laughs> 100 grams of protein that's how I like it all right let's get to business Alright guys, so I just crushed that whole breakfast. It was actually quite easy. I want to say I'm still hungry, but I could definitely still eat. I got an appetite, but let's see. I just actually went into my fitness pal and adjusted my calories because, uh, like I said, I was doing almost 400 grams of protein, which I thought was a little bit overkill. Um, so I adjusted it. I'm still getting 320, which is more than sufficient. It's a, a gram and a half per pound of body weight. So I th I'm going to try this out and see how it works. I'm still getting over 100 grams of fat, which is just more than a half gram per pound of body weight. So I think that'll be more than sufficient. But now it upped my carbs to 500 grams of carbs. Now I'm not suggesting this for most people. Keep in mind, I didn't raise my total calories. I just adjusted my macronutrients. So we have a little bit less protein, a little bit more carb. And I run really well on carbs. They give me tons of energy. I feel great in the gym. And everybody loves carbs, right? So I didn't, I'm not taking in any more calories yet. Um, I'm still going to give it till the end of the week. Or maybe even the end of next week. Till I decide that my body needs more. 
but like I said, I've been burning a ton in the gym. I've been doing like two workouts a day, sometimes, you know, two whole weight workouts with cardio. So I need this, I need a lot of fuel to keep my size, to keep my strength, to keep my energy. And carbs are great for energy, obviously. And if my body's running great on them, I'm going to try out uh, this little switch in the macros and see how it works out for you today. I got a chest workout coming up in probably about, yeah, I'll mess around here for like 30 more minutes, watch some YouTube videos, do play with my dogs, whatever, you know, just let this food digest a little bit um, and then I'll get going. And I got the chest workout. I'm planning on hitting an arm workout later and I got wrestling match tonight. So let's see, let's see how these carbs do me. Stay tuned guys. What's up guys? Your boy Hammer, he made, he fudged it. I fudged the bucket. What happened was I woke up. Remember I said I went to bed at like 9 p.m. later than normal. Still woke up at 2. I think the thing was I was just so hungry that I had to eat my breakfast. You know, I planned to sleep in today. So I ate my breakfast and I fell asleep for like another hour and a half. So it's a little bit later than I expected. But you know what? Now I digested all those carbs. Got no excuse. Just got to hustle twice as fast. We're heading to the gym. We're going to train some chat. All right, guys, so basically, I thought I might have some friends with me at the gym to film this chest workout. I don't know if I'm going to. I don't know if they're going to show up, but I don't like relying on people. I've actually been doing all these videos strictly on my phone, filming on my phone and editing on my phone because I'm a G like that. But I think today I might go ahead and after this workout, pick up a camera or an iPad or something like that with a tripod and a mount so that way I can, uh, I can film some more content you know when I'm working out things like that so I can get some workout videos going because I think that's a little bit more interesting than just me making lemon bars what the hell I'm not Betty Crocker so hopefully I got that going and uh, we'll, we'll see maybe I can get some of this chest workout maybe not if not I'll try to go train arms later today hopefully I have time for that cutting it pretty close because I train for way too long because I'm crazy but we'll see what I get to do all right stay tuned all right guys check it out the gym it's pretty dead right now. I don't have any friends here. I'm not going to be able to get to film probably anything, but today's going to be a crazy volume workout because the last couple days I've been training heavy. A lot of uh, compound stuff, a lot of push pull. I'm really trying to take advantage of this post contest uh, week and just train my ass off and eat as much as I can within reason. That's going to put on lean mass. So I've been doing a lot of. Heavy, heavy, heavy stuff. So today's gonna be like volume sanity. I'm gonna be talking about like lots of 20 rep sets and just trying to pump my body till it feels like it's gonna explode. I ate all those carbs this morning. I'm gonna eat a lot after this workout. I'm actually going to have Chipotle, which is gonna be like one of the first times I've eaten out in a long time. Um, but the thing is, my Chipotle is all in my fitness pal. Everything's already in there. that You can pull up the menu and select your burrito. It's awesome, it's so easy to track. So I did that. I'm actually probably gonna be a little bit estimate that they're a little bit low because typically that's you know they're gonna be off a little bit. It's not exact. You're not measuring it yourself, but that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna try to get up, pick up, uh, like I said, some equipment so that I can film my second workout today and I can get that to you guys. I got to mention I got the Sweet Hammers Gym T-shirt on sale. That's your boy Hammer right there. You're working out, you want a good shirt, here you go. These are awesome. So, you get one of these, these are $20 plus shipping. PayPal, hit me up. So guys, I'm not able to really film here. I don't have any, I don't have any friends. Hammer, Hammer don't have any friends, but I'm getting that crazy wicked pump. Figure I'd show off just a little bit for the camera. I'm training chest today, but everything's filling up. I think those carbs did me well. My body responds really well to it, especially when I train. Like crazy, I'm doing a lot of doing a lot of really high volume today. Started with sets of 20, 20, 20, 16, 14. You know, you gotta shock the body, you gotta keep it changing. Um, and yeah, I'm loving it. Just talked to an old friend, brought up some topics I want to talk about, so we'll be covering those a little bit. Basically, I'm not trying to reinvent the window, reinvent the wheel. A lot of people on YouTube or today just marketing themselves are just trying to quick make a quick buck, and what they're trying to do is act like they have the new greatest thing, they have the they have the trick, they have this new scheme that's that's better and you have to know their version or you don't know what you're doing. It's it's be it's bull crap. So 
I'm not trying to reinvent the, the wheel, but I know a lot of stuff that is proven to work. I, I've proven it on myself, I've proven it on other clients, and that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Anyway, all right, one last, most muscular. I'm still holding pretty good definition, even though I'm about 15 pounds heavier than I was on show day. Uh, my abs don't look as well, that's for sure. But hey, what can you do? You can't, uh, you can't have your cake and eat it too, unless it's a lemon protein cake, you know? All right, what's up guys? I just finished this chest workout. I had a kind of a fail moment. I think I told you I was gonna go to Chipotle because in my head, I woke up later, I trained later, so I should have been able to get food, but I forget how early I get up. So even though I woke up super late after I fell back asleep and trained late, it's still 8 a.m. Chipotle's not open. I can't even go get the iPad like I wanted to. So I'm gonna go home. I think I have enough ingredients to make kind of a ch mock Chipotle bowl because that's kind of what I'm in the mood for after I mentioned it. So I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw that together. I'll show that to you guys. It's really gonna be really simple. And uh, I was just uh, I was gonna film this in my car, but I noticed something. So here's my car. I have uh, this little sticker. I got this when I competed last weekend, and I'm normally not a sticker guy, but hey, I was pretty proud of myself. But in this car next to me, who would put that on their car? Oh, I gotta hit the pose wall. There we go. There we go. All right, guys. I'll show you that bowl in just a minute. All right, all right. Back home. I told you I wanted Chipotle. I, I was craving it. I said it. It was in my head. It was stuck in my head. So I knew I had to have something like it. I didn't want to go to the store because I'm kind of running behind. I got a lot to do today. But I had some ingredients. We're gonna make kind of a mock chipotle bowl. Don't 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 judge me too much. I know it's not gonna be perfect. But here's what I'm eating. I had some bulk chicken that's already already been grilled up. I have these Uncle Ben's red beans and rice, fat-free cheddar cheese, and this is like a broccoli slaw. Basically, it's just you know good fibrous vegetables. So I'm gonna throw this all together. I'll show you in a second. So here we are. We got Hunter Boy already starting to beg. We got little dog. She knows better. Subscribe for Hunter. But anyway, here we are. I'm gonna throw some salsa on top of this. It's not exactly Chipotle, but it whipped together pretty quick. Obviously, I already had the chicken pre-cooked, but besides that, you know the beans microwaved. Everything was super quick, and it's gonna be a little bit healthier probably. A little bit uh, more balanced macros, or actually you could tailor them to what you need. I'll throw the macros up on the screen, somewhere, here, here, somewhere. But anyway, uh, it's going to be a lot cheaper than getting a, a $10, $12 burrito once you get like the double meat. Because I obviously put a lot of meat in there. There you go. I'm going to eat this. I'm going to get back to my day. Right, guys, so a lot check it do. out. I actually just went and picked myself up an iPad. So hopefully this is going to make editing things and filming things a little bit more easier. I'm still figuring it out. Still figuring out if it's worth it. I was doing pretty good on my phone, but... I'm gonna wrap this vlog up, not because my day is through, I still gotta go work out, I'm still gonna wrestle tonight, but the thing is, it's starting to get kinda lengthy, and I'm definitely gonna go film this arm workout right now. I got some friends coming with me, we're gonna put this together, I'm gonna have an arm workout coming up, and um, yeah, hopefully, uh, let me know how you guys like this format, we're doing the recipes, doing the vlogs, gonna be doing some workouts, Q and A's, I'll, I wanna keep all kinds of stuff. If you have ideas, throw them at me. Like, subscribe to your boy Hammer, I'll see you next time.